Hey everybody, Brian here from quantlabs.net. Welcome to 2016, the first video for uh, this year, the new year, 2016. Also the first video without demo mode on a Mac. Okay, so let's figure all this fun stuff out. Now the databases on, on a Mac OS X environment works, but when you try to get it working on an IDE, be it an Eclipse or an app being specifically for C++, can be daunting and challenging. I have no patience for stuff that doesn't work out of the box, so I look for alternatives pretty quick. So I've put together uh, two postings on here on my blog, one on what I call the disaster with MySQL, and also I tried out MariaDB. I've included all the reasons why I think it just doesn't work for me for whatever reason. And uh, oddly enough, I was able to get the MySQL connector working in uh, the Mac OS X environment, and uh, that is also using Xcode. So I had no problems with that, but just trying to get up either Maria DB or MySQL was a complete nightmare. Now, the other problem with um, the Postgres is trying to get that to work in C++ on a Mac. The libraries just don't seem to work, uh, and, and I, I tried Eclipse or uh, Xcode, all of them, even C Lion, and none of them got uh, got them working. So after about two days, I just gave up, and then I thought, hey, why not we try SQLite? So SQLite is fairly easy on Mac OS X. Uh, it is a default database with OS X, so to set it up, you don't have to set it up because it's already included. It's a very simple database written in C, open source, it's fast, but the problem with it, there's a lot of problems with it, is that the big one is that you don't get clustering. So if you are, are able to keep a database all in the same box, you should be okay. That's my intention because for this automated trading system, the version two, I'm gonna keep it really simple on the get-go. Most likely I'll have to maybe upgrade to a better database as we move forward. But for now, I just want to get stuff up and running fairly quickly. So I've got a bunch of instructions in this link here and how I got it working. But it's fairly simple um, because uh, all you need to do is, uh, as I said, it's already set up default as part of your Mac OS X. So all you really need to do is worry about trying to find a decent little browser client. I found one called Valentina Studio, which is free. And uh, the client code as well is fairly easy to set up. So I'm going to show you that in a little bit. So uh, if you follow these two links here on my blog, uh, that should help you out. Okay, so uh, let's jump into um, the terminal first. And uh, let me just show you what we've got here. So uh, if you just do SQLite uh, 3, that's it. it. All you need to do is run, and then you can do your um, SQL stuff, no problem, on a Mac OS X. I'm not going to show you that. I'm just going to show you the basic connectivity. Now, the IDE that I've been looking at, and I've, I've had nothing but problems with both NetBeans and uh, the Eclipse IDEs. Um, they're just buggy. Um, they're not stable for whatever reason. I don't really care what the reason is they just don't work for me so uh, I tried out Xcode and oddly enough I got it running no problem and uh, this is the source code here to get this running now Xcode is kind of wonky but once you get used to it it's fairly easy uh, let me just show you an example here uh, I've shown this before when you are ready to let's say do an iOS source file Actually, let me just do a new project. <clears throat> so if we go under new project here and you go under OS 10 application command line tool, which I'm really using is go next. And then you have your uh, different language choices. So you have Swift, uh, C++ and C. Obviously this is a C++ that I'm showing you right now. So uh, once you get all that set up, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, this source code, that you're looking at right now is from this link here, this tutorials point, uh, and it works great. Um, you don't have to worry about this. Um, in terms of configuration, the only thing you really need to uh, stay on top of is if you come under here, 
under build settings uh, as because this is part of a, uh, a C++ project you need to understand that there is uh, the configurations under uh, Xcode something called uh, linker flags so all you need to do is if you were to pass in linker uh, flags all you need to do is just tell what libraries you want to use. So just put in hyphen SQLite 3 for both the debug and release, and that's it. You're ready to go. Uh, and then you can start building using SQLite. So all you need to do is just uh, put in the code like this, as I said. Uh, build succeeded, and off it goes and starts running. So it is able to open up the test DB. Uh, and uh, that's default as again part of the OS 10 environment or any SQLite install and then uh, it just says yeah I can open up the file so there you go that's it and it's very easy to set up get as I said trying to set up um, Postgres and MySQL on OS 10 is not as trivial as this um, SQLite does as I said has some major caveats but for now it's fine I just want a database to hold data that's it. I don't need any fancy schmancy stuff to be able to export, sorry, import Excel files into uh, SQLite can be, I think, done fairly easily. But at this point, I have, I have to build out a new schema. Now, you may be wondering what kind of uh, clients can you get for, um, uh, for Mac. So this is one called Valentina Studio, which appears to be free. Uh, and I haven't really played a whole lot with this, but the database is fairly easy because you just choose your SQLite um, uh, choice and uh, let's see, I've got to uh, set up a little database stuff here. So let me just try and open up this little guy, the database file and you know, whatever you need to do from there, you've got a test table and maybe a test field and that can connect into this uh, uh, table and obviously the database itself within this uh, client and then hopefully I can be able to connect through that in my code in the Xcode and the C++ side. So there you go, that should be that to get SQLite working. Very simple after two days of pretty well wasting my time for both Postgres and MySQL. But this should work fine for this automated trading system. Uh, it's fast, I know that, and these are flat files which is fine as I said if I really need speed, uh, again, with the flexibility of clustering, that's what my Redis is for. And that's specifically for my ability to be able to uh, just pump data, market real live market data into the Redis environment with a cluster if I need it. If SQLite doesn't work out, I could just do the same thing with the standard uh, non-core data, as I call it. That includes all the positions, all my government data I'll use for this system to look at, and analyze, and so on and so forth. So that's a clear difference between SQLite and Redis and what I'm going to use both for on a Mac OS X environment. I also need to address something else. The security of the privacy and, and, and security that I've, I've talked about in the past with Linux versus Windows. We know about Windows with the back doors. Who knows? Microsoft's probably in bed with the feds of the U.S. government. I think that's a case. So there's no privacy, there's no security there. Also, when you look at uh, Linux, it, it only gives you one layer of security. It's good, but here in the new version of Mac OS X El Capitan, what you get also is something called SIP. So this out-of-box operating system does not allow you to give traditional root access unless you're going to like equivalent of hack it or jailbreak it. Um, but the, the community in the OS X environment, be it whatever language, uh, is quite good to sort of get around that, and it's very easy to do, but still keep your OS X environment intact and keep it secure. And again, uh, when you have like a guy, CEO Tim Cook from Apple on uh, 60 Minutes, and he's adamant that there's no backdoors or anything, encryptions kept intact with Apple technology, I feel more comfortable knowing that than running with something like on Windows or even yet the instability that you get with Linux I've seen uh, time and time again with Wi-Fi connections going up and down it's very flaky both for Ubuntu and both for even the supposed more secure 
and more uh, stable uh, version of Mint. So uh, with Ubuntu, uh, I got a couple of friends that have given me tips that with Ubuntu, bad updates, they can screw your environment very badly. So again, this is why I prefer to stick with uh, Mac OS X for now. And here I have, again, let me just talk about C++ uh, code here with Xcode is cross-platform, even in Windows. So we should be okay using Xcode and SQLite for whatever operating system you use. But again, my choice again, and I've got number, numerous uh, reasons for why I choose OS X on Mac. Okay, I'm not here to be a fanboy and push it on people, but this is why I use it. Hopefully this video will help you out, and uh, I'll talk to you later. Uh, hopefully you can be happy with the choice of uh, SQLite that I'm making. Hopefully this is the final one too. I'll talk to you later.